Hey everyone, I'm really excited about this lecture because I'm gonna be showing you what a t-test is and how to use one. Let's get started. The t-test is essentially the same thing as the z-test except you're using the better version of the confidence interval. And that's it. There's really no difference between the t-test and the z-test other than how you create your confidence intervals. Everything else is the same. Now that being said, you should always use a t-test since you're always the one to calculate the sample standard deviation. You never calculate the population standard deviation. Therefore, just never ever use a z-test. There's never a reason for it and whenever I see researchers use a z-test, I really question whether or not they're trying to p-hack there. Now here's a really good question that a lot of my students ask me. Well, why, why did I have to learn about what a z-test is if I never have to use one? Don't ask questions. Just go with it. Don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next lecture. You just watched a video from Amore Learning. We provide free math videos and we offer many online courses. We also provide free math tutoring via YouTube Live every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video to get access to all of our free content. And put a comment in the comment section if you have any math questions. Check out all of our courses on amorelearning.org.